What's up guys? Knives and candles, right? They go hand in hand, don't they? No. No, they don't. But I like them both. That's right. Big fan of candles. I love Yankee Candle. Why? Because they make rooms smell good. Why not? And these, they actually have a man candle section now. Um, so I got these. I got Movie Night, which is a limited edition Yankee Candle. And this thing smells delicious. <sighs> smells like a movie theater. Fresh, popped, buttery, delicious popcorn. Oh my god. Makes me hungry. And the other man candle. Mmm. Bacon. That's right. Bacon candle. Didn't like this one yet. This thing is so friggin' strong. It smells like a jar of pork fat. It smells delicious though. Um, super, super strong though. But why am I talking about candles? Well, I like candles. But this isn't a candle review. No. This is about an idea I had, and I actually pitched to Yankee Candle, and I really hope they do. Um, and also, I'm going to show you this new knife that I've been rocking from Expedition. Uh, this thing is freaking awesome so far. Going to do a review on this eventually. Um, let me see the name of this. I think it's the, the Excelsa, their new Excelsa knife. Um, they're doing a limited run. I don't know if this is going to be a permanent production knife, but get them while you can. I'll put a link in the description box. There's two sizes. This is the large, large is another 20 bucks, but this has a lot of awesome features. Um, there's actually an internal lock bar stabilizer on this frame lock, so it is a frame lock. Can't see it, but there's an internal piece here. It looks like a guitar pick shape, and that keeps you from uh, having any over travel. Super, super smooth. I mean, amazingly smooth. Nice, simple drop point D2 blade. Very clean looking. You can see they put their logo on the lock bar. Really, really interesting knife. Uh, tip up or tip down. It comes um, tip down, and I swapped it. First thing I did was make it tip up. Decent little pocket clip. So we'll be doing some talking about this knife in the future. Nice rounded spine. But so far, really liking this thing, so I will be EDCing this. So there's a little knife talk for the knife, guys. Um, now, onto my candle idea. Let me know what you think about this. Seriously, I, would, I had this idea, and I went, you know what? This is a really good idea. Um... And what I've done is, on these large jars, when I'm done with a jar, or when I'm not using it, I take these lids, and I use the little votive size candles, and I use this as a, a candle holder. So here I have one burning. This is Whoopie Pie <laughs> scented candle. And uh, I was thinking, why not sell, sell these lids with the wax in them already? It's not going to, well, this one doesn't have the rubber on anymore. Plastic, rather. I took that off. But let's say this was filled up with wax and you have your own little wick. It wouldn't obtrude in the candle. You could sell it, you know, with the, the lid filled with wax, too. So when you take a lid off, it's like, where do I put this thing? Well, now, if it was filled with wax, you have another candle. You can light this candle and put this somewhere else in the room. It's like wasted space here. Why not fill it with wax? Make another candle. Plus, you can buy all different types of scents. You can combine them. You know, I was thinking of the idea of like jelly bellies where you combine the different flavors and they make a, a whole new flavor. Well, same thing with this. If you combine two different scents, like let's say you had a pineapple scented candle and then like another coconut candle on top, you'd have like a pina colada type deal when they're both lit. Just an idea. Um, and you come up with some snazzy name. I thought lid light. That's kind of cheesy. But anyway, what do you think about that idea? Yes, I'm asking your opinion on a, a candle idea. You know me by now. Random and strange. Definitely loving this knife, though. I'll tell you. Pretty sweet. Like I said, right now it is only a limited edition, limited production. Uh, I really, really hope that they keep this line. Their first one, which I actually keep a spare in my disc. Here it is. The Ferox. I did a review on this knife. Kind of hit and miss. It's not a bad knife for the price. But there's a lot of competition out there. But they really, really stepped up their game uh, with this one. In comparison, this is a great knife. This is an okay knife. When I got this knife, I went, you know what? Yes, this is an awesome company for gear. And now they're trying to make knives. Okay, I get it. With this new knife, I I would think that they're a knife company. Honestly, they did it right with this one. They actually took a lot of your feedback. All right, I know for a fact, Tim Tim Tang, the uh, CEO, and a lot of the guys over at Expedition, they watch your videos on YouTube. They listen to what you have to say. They watch the reviews of the Parox. 
they hear your input, and this is what they came up with. And I think it's awesome. So I will be EDCing this, and eventually we'll get a review on it. And I also have the smaller one too. Um, so far though, I can tell you just initially, I like the big one a lot. The smaller one falls a little short for my hands, but I like this, it's a nice solid feel. So anyway, besides that, let me know what you think about my little light idea. All right, all you ladies watching, I know you're watching too, or any of you dudes are into your man candles, your bacon candle, and your buttered popcorn candles. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I thought it was a pretty good idea, and I pitched the idea to Yankee Candle, and I'm making this video not just to show you the Max Edition night, but also just to get it out there, just so if they actually start making this crap, I could say, you know what, that was my idea, and people won't think I'm crazy. So occasionally you might, you might hear an invention idea, because if I said it after the fact, you'd be like, yeah, sure, that was your idea. Anyway, I thought it was a pretty good idea. You know, it's, it's a, a useful idea. Anyway. That's it. Plus, Yankee Candle make a buttload of money. You sell just the lids for like three bucks or four bucks, whatever. You can mix and match and everything. I'm telling you, Yankee Candle should hire me. I get all kinds of candle ideas. Actually, I don't. That's my only one. But I think it's a really winner. It's a really winner? No. I was going to say it's a really good one. And then right in the middle, I just went right for winner because I'm that confident with this idea. I'm telling you. That's what I do with these things all the time. I throw the votives in there. Makes an awesome little, uh, or tea lights or whatever. All right, that's enough candle talk for now. We get back to man, man stuff like this sweet blade. D2 came super sharp too. So very happy with this. You will get a review on this in the future when I'm ready to do a review. Uh, one thing I can say as well that I don't necessarily like. I don't know about the pop, the the um, thumb stud design yet. It's a heavy, heavy ramp, and there's a heavy detent in this. So when I'm opening this. You have to kind of push sideways. I mean, it opens beautifully if you're flicking it open, but to manually push it open slowly, if that's what you choose, it's hard to overcome that detent and that uh, thumb stud being so uh, ramped like that. It's a little bit sharp on the corner. So we'll see how that plays out with uh, actual use. But for the most part, I am flicking my knives out anyway. So I do consider that because you may not be someone who flicks their knives out. And no flipper on this. I know a lot of you guys out there, well, you're kind of split. Some of you love your flippers. Some of you hate the flipper design knives. Can't stand them. So this is all about the stud, which is reversible, by the way. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think about my candle idea and the knife. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.